you know, um, we've begun to think that everything is fine. That over all these years when we've been learning to be able to accept one another, things are so much better. And often we don't know that there's still people who have hatred in their hearts. Um, recently, I, I was very saddened by an incident that happened in my son's uh, front yard. My granddaughter went outside and saw this noose, a white rope noose hanging from a tree. And she ran in to tell her mother uh, what was outside. Her mother came out, saw it, and just was hor horrified that some, something like that could happen today. That's today. This is I'm just a few weeks from the time that it happened. And she called the police. The police came. They didn't view it as a hate crime. They viewed it as a prank. Now, that doesn't mean it couldn't have been a prank, but even a prank is a sad thing to experience if you're African-American and you know anything at all about your history and you know the word lynching, you know hanging. Uh, so they, they were very upset about it. Now this is in California and we just couldn't believe it. But for me and for many people like me, it's the most awful thing that you could do and then say you love everybody. So it happens today. It hasn't gone. We have a long way to go. Uh, we'll just work hard at trying to figure out what it is we can do to not let things like this happen again. When I think about having become a Baha'i, particularly in 1964, when um, it was obvious that we were coming from segregation to integration. Um, I made this change to join the Baha'i Faith because already the principles I believed in are there. Um, and I wanted to be a part of whatever group works at bringing us together. Over the years, I have seen Baha'i communities really influence other people when they see this variety of people together, uh, this variety of people uh, coming together to worship God. Um, these days, what we used to say in the 60s can be said today on Sunday, but also on Saturday and Friday. Those are the most segregated times of our existence. It's when all of us go to our place of worship. I can say that when Baha'is gather, they include some of everybody, as it should be. Now, if you ask me if it includes as many as we should include, I would say no. I would say no because I think um, we need to be more active in making sure that people are aware of some of the things that can be done to help to eliminate racism. And one of them is, to, is, is the change of heart, the change of the mind and the change of the heart. Often, we can do it with our mind, but if our heart isn't in it, we just have no chance of, of uh, attracting anybody. <laughs>